Fats and oils have been around for a millennia. Historically, they have been seen as a source of dietary energy used to preserve foods or just for general cooking and baking. Vegetable oils are known for their numerous health benefits as they carry vital nutrients. They are essential for growth, metabolism, and protecting brain cells, among others. However, consuming too much edible oil brings about a whole host of health risks. Some oils have become available only recently as extraction technology has improved. The advancement of this industry has been contingent on science and research. Oh, hello again and welcome to another edition of Bazaar. This week, we want to give center stage to vegetable oil production in the country. We wanted to see how this product is made in order to get a better understanding of how its market operates. We will also be checking out why edible oil is such a key ingredient in the national economy. Okay, enough said. Time to walk through today's greasy bazaar. Our journey took us to the ancient city of Rey, near the capital Tehran. Here, we visited a company that was one of the first producers of vegetable oil in the country. Margarine was first established in 1954, but its edible oil production activity took off in 1995. It is a major producer of a variety of items under the brand names of Afdab and Khurus. شرکت مارگارین سال 1332 تأسیس شده 1333 یعنی 67 سال پیش افتتاح شده با تقریبا 4 تن در روز تولید روغن نباتی و 8 تن و تقریبا توسعه اومده رسیده تا الان که الان تقریبا روزانه 1000 تن روغن رو تصفیه فراوری و تولید میکنه حالا بسته بندی های مختلف تو هر سه تا حوزه خانوار سن و صنعت هم کار میکنه تو حوزه خانوار تقریبا همه محصولات رو داره از پخت و پز سرخ کردنی ها نیمه جامد توی صنعت توی سن هم همه شورتنینگ ها رو داره روغن های قنادی و بستنی و غیره توی صنعت هم که تو سس و شیرین و شکلات تقریبا همه اینها رو داره its mega facilities have the capacity to produce edible oils for the food industry as well as household consumption. Productions at this company are so high that it holds at least 15% of the domestic edible oil market. It is also an active participant in the Tehran Stock Exchange. One of the competitive advantages of this company is its diverse product list, from extra virgin olive oil, sesame oil, to sunflower oil and canola oil. This company has it all. The goods here are produced under Iran's strict food and drug administration standards in order to ensure its products maintain the highest quality. This company has received several national and international certifications for food safety and quality, including the Halal certification. ببینید توی ایران هم غذا و دارو هم استانداردش خیلی سخت گیرترن نسبت به حتی اروپایی ها واقعا مثلا تو عدد ها نیستید اروپایی ها الان هشت و نیم رو فکر میکنم قبول دارن توی ایران ابلاغ شده تا عدد شیش اومدن پایین یعنی از استانداردی که دارن غذا و دارو و خود سازمان استاندارد تو ایران بر اون اساس دارن ارزی ها میکنه استاندارد سختی است تو حوزه غذا حالا نه فقط تو روغن تو همه اوضاع همینه تو اون حوزه هم واقعا یکی از بهترین ها این برند آفتابی که همه آدم و قدیمی ها و جدید ها میشناسنش معمولا یکی از تدوین کنندگان استاندارد مارگارین بوده یعنی مدیران تحقیق توسعه و کنترل کیفیت ما توی شورای تدوین استاندارد one feature that sets this company apart from other producers in this sector is that it mainly produces raw or unprocessed oil. This is later refined into other products that are released into the market. There are two main ways that plant matter is processed to make raw vegetable oil. One is through hydrogenation and the other is through a process called fractioning. 
In a nutshell, this type of processing includes controlled cooling, leading to partial crystallization. The remaining liquid is then separated from the solid by a filtration process. And for all these steps, large equipment is required for mass production. This company recently launched two new facilities for oil fractioning and hydrogenation. These facilities will increase its unprocessed oil productions, which can be sold to various industries for non-consumable purposes. Some of the customers of this raw material are cleaning products and cosmetics manufacturers. روشون کار کارشناسی شده بود طرح فرکشنیشن هست که تقریبا یک پالایشگاه روغنه 24 تا محصول جدید رو تو تمام اون صحبت هایی کرد میدونی که مارگان یکی از مزیدهاش تنوع محصول ما تقریبا ماهانه 35 نوع محصول تولید میکنیم اولا از روغنه خانوار یا شورتنینگ ها توی جدید طرح توسعه ای که اومده تو فرکشن این 24 تا دیگه اضافه میشه این مثل روکش و بستنی کری کاکو و خیلی از موارد دیگه که الان داره وارد میشه و ارزبری دارد کاملا تو ایران تولید خواهد شد این کاملا جدا میکنه مارگارین رو دوباره به مدت در 15 سال آینده تو صدر جدول تنوع و کیفیت قرار میده یه افزایش ظرفیت هم همزمان با این تنوع ایجاد میشه که 300 تومن اینترایز 400 تون هم توی ظرفیت روزانه هیدروژناسیون اون اضافه می شود. These new facilities are part of the company's expansion projects. The new production lines allow it to branch out into other sectors supplying raw oil which is currently largely imported. As part of its development agenda, this company has also overhauled its operation systems including human resources. This includes growth opportunities for the hundreds of people working in this company. But that's not all. It also restructured its internal processes, which has helped increase production with efficiency. ساختار سازمانی اون رو کاملا چابک کردیم یعنی تعداد زیادیش رو کوچیک‌تر کردیم سرعت تصمیم گیری رو توی معاونت ها و مدیریت ها بالاتر بردیم. جایی که لازم بوده دستکاری شده و امروز واقعا یه فرایند چابکتری رو داریم که این رو تو صورت مالی بونم کاملا میشه دید یعنی به های تمام شده سال 98 و 97 رو اگر نگاه کنید تقریبا 84-5 درصد فروشمون به های تمام شده مون بود امروز تو نه ماه چون روی کدال هم هستیم هم میتونن این رو برم ببینن ببینن چقدر درسته یا ادعا داریم میکنیم فکر میکنم تو نه ماه رسیدیم به 76 درصد یعنی اون دیگه چیزی بوده 9 درصد کاهش ماهای تمام شده بوده It might be interesting to know that most of the equipment in the vegetable oil industry are imported This company also imports a lot of its production machinery as well as some of its raw material such as oil seeds ما 90 درصد روغنمون وارداتی است برای تحریم کاملا اثر میذاره یعنی اینکه شما همه مواد اولیه‌تو تقریبا بعد از اون بر مرز بیاری خود جابجا جا کردن این مطمئنا وقتی تو شرایط تحریمی هستی سیستم بانکیت فعال نیست نمیتونید ال سی باز کنی مجبوری به صورت نقد کار کنی تاثیرشو میذاره کار رو سخت‌تر می‌کنه یکی اینکه وقتی میگه میگه میلیون و 600 تا 800 هزار تون مصرف کشوره و این وارد داره تولید میشه نشون میده توی تحریم ها چیزی کم نشده یعنی تولید اتفاق افتاده واردات هم اتفاق افتاده فقط مسیر طولانی تر و سخت با یه مقدار هزینه بالاتر Over the years this producer has pulled through numerous challenges in order to enjoy its many achievements today One obstacle that remained throughout the years has been the economic sanctions imposed by the US which hinders international money transfers and banking بالاخره تحریم ها و جریان مالی که دشمن بر علیه ما ایجاد کرده و محدودیت مالی و تبادل ارزی که ایجاد کرده طبیعتا در حوزه تولید مشکلاتی رو ایجاد کرد اما ما معتقدیم ظرفیت های ما و توان ما و امکانات داخلی ما به مراتب بیشتر از توان این تحریم ها هست همین کارخونه ای که ما امروز خدمت شما هستیم مستحضرید حدود 90 درصد حجم و ارزش 
ریالی محصولاتش از واردات بوده و بعد از اینکه تحریم ها اتفاق افتاده اومدن کم کم با محصولات داخلی جایگزین کردن در زمینه تعادلات مالی هم خب الحمدلله راه های پیدا کردن قراردات های بین المللی که منعقد شده مسیر رو تسهیل کرده The World Health Organization puts Iran's per capita vegetable oil consumption at 7 kilograms higher than the global average. In more general terms, the monthly domestic demand is roughly 150,000 tons. That's pretty high, but with such a large demand, the country's edible oil sector is still heavily dependent on raw material imports. Dear oh dear, much too much happening here. So how is the country managing these needs? Based on data from Iran's customs administration, last year over 2 million tons of oil seeds were imported into the country. Meanwhile, edible oil productions reached around 1.6 million tons, according to the Ministry of Industry. This is actually below domestic demand, which industry participants put at around 1.8 million tons annually. Iran does cultivate oil seeds domestically. These crops are mainly grown in the south and southwest of the country, such as Fars and Hormozgan provinces. In 2019, with the ample seasonal rains, over 100,000 tons of rapeseed were harvested in these areas. Other crops, such as cottonseed and sesame seeds, are also farmed in the country. However, these cultivations are not enough, and around 90% of the country's raw material needed for vegetable oil productions is imported. In order to meet these needs, the Ministry of Agriculture launched a plan called the Oilseed Project in 2017. The project is a joint technical cooperation with the Food and Agriculture Organization, also known by the acronym FAO of the United Nations. The goal is to build oilseed production capacities in the public and private sectors using sustainable farming methods. Ministry officials say productions have increased under this plan. This year, productions of soybeans, sunflower and rapeseed increased by threefold. As you probably know, vegetable oil is a key ingredient in many foods. And the food industry is a major consumer of this product. It is used in homes, restaurants and fast food joints. The food industry is worth billions and is growing at a rapid pace these days. And for those who want to enter this sector, it offers a world of opportunities. Plus, it's all tasty stuff. Yum yum. The food industry is the most important part of the economy, accounting for over 20% of Iran's non-oil revenues. That's according to Iran's customs administration. This industry is also almost entirely privately owned. Based on statistics from the Ministry of Industry, Mining and Trade, this sector holds around 15% of the country's industrial employment. Nearly $900 million worth of agricultural and food products were exported in the first two months of this year alone. This is a dramatic rise when compared to the total value of exports for the entire year of 2019, which stood at the same value. Dairy products, sweets, poultry and aquaculture, as well as a diverse range of agricultural products, are some of the main items exported this year. But Iran's food and beverage industry isn't just limited to the activity of eating. It's an industry full of flavor, but also bursting with investment opportunities. This industry covers a range of areas, including food technology, product development and packaging. There is also a whole field for research and design, with a particular demand for engineers in equipment development and so much more. All right, everyone, it is time for me to step aside for several minutes as my good friend and colleague is about to take you on another educational adventure. Enjoy. Many of us enjoy sweets on a daily basis, but this sweet life can come at the price of diabetes and other health issues. So today we've come here to learn about a product that takes the bitter out of the sweet and the disease out of the delicious. Want to learn how? Follow us for more.
Mead stevia, a plant native to Brazil and Paraguay, the active compounds in which have up to 150 times the sweetness of sugar. This plant is a natural source from which the products we're going to talk about today derive their sweetness. So where did the sweet story start? As حدود 15-16 سال پیش که ما یه سری تحقیقاتی رو روی بازار شیرین کننده ها توی ایران انجام دادیم و با توجه به آمار نگران کننده مصرف شکر توی ایران دیدیم فضا وجود داره چه از لحاظ سلامتی چه از لحاظ اقتصادی و تجاری که ما اقدام کنیم به تولید شیرین کننده توی ایران از همون ابتدا هم با توجه که با اپامات مصرف شیرین کننده های مصنوعی آشنا بودیم و مشکلاتش رو می دیدیم توی جوامع علمی تحقیقات رو بیشتر گوشیم روی شیرین کننده طبیعی استویا استویا هم یه شیرین کننده نوین تقریبا این اون روی کرد اولیه بود که ما تمرکز اون رو بذاریم برای تولید شیرین کننده استویا در ایران که بتونیم هم یه شیرین کننده سالم و با کیفیت تحویل مردم و صنایع غذایی بدیم هم هم این که با چشم انداز توسعه فرهنگ تغذیه سالم بتونیم یه فضایی رو باز بکنیم که ایران هم جزء تولید کننده های شیرین کننده بشه Iran is a country with diverse climates and cultures. Here, most regions have their own special types of sweets. Unfortunately, in recent years, as the Iranian lifestyle became more modern, people started developing health issues such as diabetes, which has costed them the sweet taste of their traditions. But now, their favorite traditional sweets can come without sugar and are only one click away. We are now at the company's IT section, which is dedicated to digital marketing and website design. Over 40 different products are sold here on this platform, all of which are sugar-free and yet surprisingly sweet, from cookies and biscuits to sugar-free drinks. But when it comes to making sweets from stevia, there's one serious problem. It's bitter aftertaste, one that's neutralized throughout the production process. Can you tell us about the production process? Bas istehsal istevia, khub istevia ye giyah. و الان هم چندین سال هستش که توی ایران داره کاشت میشه توی استانهای مختلف گیار خشک شده رو ما در اختیار میگیریم ته یک مراحل حالا میشه گفت نسبتا پیچیده اشاره این گیاه به صورت مایع استخراج میشه بین 5 تا 6 بسته به نوع گیاه مرحله فیلتر میشه این اشاره تا درصد خلوص استویا بالا بره استویا استخراج شده برای اینکه بتونه قابل استفاده باشه برای عموم مردم باید بیاد حتما با این سری پرکننده ترکیب بشه تا زائقه ای مانند شکر پیدا بکنه پس توی مرحله مرحله توزین میاد با یه سری مواد اولیه که همشون هم دیابتی باشن هم کم کالری باشن و هم اون شاخص های سلامتی مد نظر ما رو داشته باشه فرمولاسیون میشه به صورت پودر یا گرانول در میاد که میتونه جایگزین شکر بشه در دستگاه پرس حبه به صورت حبه قند در میاد و یا به هم همون به صورت مایه تبدیل به شربتی میشه که به صورت شربت شیرین کننده میتونه جایگزین شربت گلوکوز یا شربت اینورت بشه Every sachet you see coming out of the sachet filling machine contains 1.5 grams of sweetener and can substitute for 15 grams of sugar. So it has 10 times the sweetness and none of the harm. Here, the QC specialists study the physical and chemical qualities of the final product. They make sure it's of the desired shape, taste, texture, and humidity levels and that it does not increase blood sugar levels at all. The 
The samples are also quarantined and checked for their microbial levels to ensure of their safety and long shelf life. What's your outlook for the future? ما همون تلاشی که کردیم طی سال‌های اخیر ابتدا باید ظرفیت تولیدمون رو افزایش بدیم. حالا با اضافه کردن خط تولید، اضافه کردن منابع انسانی، ولی چشم اندازمون تأسیس یک مجتمع صنایع غذایی بدون شکر و سلامت محور هستش که هم یه چیز تقریبا میشه گفت بی‌نظیر هست توی دنیا، هم با اون دانش فنی که طی 10 12 سال گذشته ما جمع کردیم امکانش هستش که به بهترین نحو و با بهترین کیفیت این کار رو بتونیم انجام بدیم Some 500 tons of sweetener is produced and packed here annually using very simple machines. It's further proof that the execution of bright ideas requires fine minds, not fancy facilities. Every day, Fancy adds sweet tacos into consuming more refined sugar. But now that we have extracted the sweet taste of stevia, we can reclaim our health and happiness by stepping towards a life less refined but naturally sweet. Many thanks for that awesome report. All righty then, let's now take a look at some interesting developments and news in the agriculture and food industry. The biggest supplier of the food business is the agricultural sector. Increased production in this industry also brings about food security. It might be interesting to know that Iran is now 95% self-reliant on agricultural machinery. The domestic industry of agricultural machinery has experienced a development boom in the last decade. This is mainly because of the comprehensive agricultural mechanization plan that was implemented by the government. So far, some $4.7 billion have been invested in this scheme. This project is managed by the Ministry of Agriculture and the Center for Agricultural Mechanization Development. The goal is to supply enough machines to improve the status and degree of mechanization in production. Iran makes millions of tons of agricultural products each year, but there is also a big problem with product waste in the country, which government officials are trying to tackle. Some 100 million tons of agricultural products are produced annually. Of this amount, over 16 million tons go to waste. The Plant Protection Organization of Iran says most of the waste happens during harvest and post-harvest stages because of old machines. However, this is due to change with the government implementation of a scheme to inject new machinery into this industry. Well, if you are a big tea drinker like I am, then this next bit of news might pique your interest. Iran's tea is both flavorful and consumed in high amounts among Iranians. This year, tea production witnessed a 25% increase. Care for a cup? A total of around 115,000 tons of fresh tea leaves worth $23 million were produced by local farmers this year. Based on the National Tea Organization, this amount produced over 25,000 tons of processed tea. There are around 28,000 hectares of tea plantations in the country. Crops undergo three harvests each year, with the first harvest being the most valuable. And so we have come to the end of today's bazaar. Do let us know what you think about this industry by getting in touch with us through email. We always enjoy hearing from our dear viewers. Also check out our Instagram page where you can watch bits and pieces of this show and previous episodes. Don't forget to leave us your feedback. I have been Samson Seas. Sees you in the next bazaar.